Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover four topics. Users and Groups, ACL, SGID and Sticky Bit. So I have made separate videos on all of these. So if you want to refer those, here are the links for all. And I will also specify the links in the description part. Here in this video, I'm just going to focus on the questions that can come from these particular topics. So let's cover them one by one. So the first question is related to users and groups. The question is you need to create a group, new group, and then achieve these three subparts. Where the first part is to create a user hush and make new group as the secondary group. So let us do them one by one. So the very first task is to create a new group. So the command to create a group is group add and the name was new group. So find the group is created. You can check it in etc group file. Right. So the group is there. Do check once you have done any task that is assigned in the question. Now the next part is we need to create a user hush and make new group as the secondary group. So the command to create the user is user add. So user add and the user is hush. Now we need to make the new group as the secondary group. So for that you need to do is minus G and then new group. Okay, let us check the contents of etc password passwd file. So you can see here Harsh is created. Now how to check whether the new group is the secondary group or not. For that we need to view the etc group file. Alright, so now you can see here this entry hush in front of new group this means that new group is the secondary group for hush because by default the primary group will be hush itself for every user that you create a primary group with the same name is also created so that primary group is hush but uh, entry here in front a uh, username in front of a group name means that particular group is the secondary group for this particular user Okay, so you need, you need to use the minus capital G option, not small g, but capital G option. The second part is create a user Nathan. Do not add to new group as the secondary group, but Nathan should have no login shell. So what we are going to do is user add Nathan. Since we do not want to add this to the new group. So don't use minus G, but what we are supposed to do is we need to create a no login shell. For that the option is minus S and then you need to write slash S pin slash no login. The user is created. You can check again slash etc pass WD and you can see here this time the default shell is s pin slash no login this means there is no login shell that is allocated to this particular user okay so these are just a couple of tasks that they can ask you related to adding a user you should go through the video where i have detailed how to add a user or delete a user there you should explore all the possible options because they might ask you to give a specific user id or assign a particular group so you need to explore the command in detail the last option is to assign all the above users the password red hat so this one is pretty straightforward you need to use the passwd command you need to assign the password so you write here the username let's suppose i am going to do it for Nathan only and you set up whatever password you want so the password was specified there it was red hat so you write red hat and it is done so with this we complete our first question the second question is copy the file etc fs tab to var fs tab so this is our first task 
copy the file etc fs tab to var fs tab all right so the task is completed now the sub tasks first one is the user owner of this var fs tab file should be root so you need to check who is the current user owner of this file so let us check that ls minus l slash var fs tab right so in this case the user owner is already root just in case if it is not then you need to use the change own command so you can write change own root so let's suppose i change the owner here not root but nitin because it is already root so let us suppose you want to change it to some other user so what you can do is nitin and then the file name so if i check again so you can see here so now the user owner is nitin so let's suppose this was the original case you want to change it back to the root user then you write here change own root file name and you can see now the user owner is back to root now the second sub task the user natasha should have read and write access all right so acl this question is based upon acl now the first thing you need to check is whether the user natasha exists or not so again you need to check the etc past wd file so there is no user as natasha so let's create it first so user add so whenever the user that you required is not there you must create it all right the user is created now what i want is if i check this permissions again on var fs tab now what it is saying is specifically to the user natasha it should have read and write access all right not the user owner not the group owner natasha does not belong to the group even if it does then also you just want to do it for one particular user you, since you want to make the changes for one particular user you cannot use the change mode command we have to use acl so we need to use the set facl command minus m u for user which user natasha what writes i want read write not execute on the file slash var slash fs tab right how to check get facl on the same file and you can see here this entry so this shows that for this particular user the extra permissions or different set of permissions have been specified now the last is the group mac should have no access so you can see here the group owner is root it's not mac the question does not want you to change the group owner so you should not change the group owner and then use change modes that is not required keeping the group owner same you should actually change the permissions for only the group mac you need to take back all the permissions from the group members who belong to the mac group so again here also we need to use set facl so this question is from acl you need to practice this one question you can definitely expect out of this so nothing much you need to do here set facl minus m for modifying now for the group group is mac so i think the group does not exist so let's first create it group add mac right set facl minus m g for the group mac is the name what i want is nothing on var fs tab right let's check get facl right you can see here nothing for the group mac now the third question so here we are going to use the concept of sticky bit and suid sorry sgid so the question is we need to create a directory within the root that is slash linux so mkdir slash linux next we need to make the group owner to be mac 
let us check who is the group owner here ls minus ld slash linux the group owner is root so you need to use change owner colon the name of the group mac slash linux check again write b part ensure that all files within the linux the group owner is mac okay so now the part a ensures just that the group owner on linux is mac but the b part wants that whatever existing files are there for them also the group owner should be mac okay so let's do one thing just to show you that first let me create a few files within linux so i've created one file and one directory t1 right ls minus l slash linux all right so for both the directory and the file within the linux directory the group owner is root what the question want is that it should be mac so for all the existing ones so what i need to do is change on itself again but with minus r minus r recursive right capital r ls minus l slash linux and you can see that the group owner for all the existing ones have been changed to mac now the third part says ensure that for all future files within linux the group owner is mac for all the future ones now what happens with change own is you can only change the owner for the existing ones not for the group for the uh, new ones so it's not going to set the default to set that default we need to use set gid we need to set the gid so s gid is what we need to do so the command is pretty simple you need to use the change mode command so if you are not aware about how to do this to watch the video that i have made on this so change mode s plus g so this is what you need to do s plus g on what on slash linux sorry not s plus g i put the wrong g plus s okay g plus s now if i create let us suppose a file inside linux f2 or even if i create a directory slash d2 for both these new entries you can see that by default the group owner is mac which was not the case earlier when i created the f1 and d1 directories okay so what you need to do is if you want that within a directory whatever content whether you create a new file or a subdirectory the group owner should be same as the group owner of the directory itself by default then you need to use the set gid or g plus s you need to do with the change mode command the last part is ensure that no user other than the user owner of linux is able to delete the content within the linux directory now what we mean by this is if i check the permissions on slash linux so ls minus ld slash linux so you can see that the group owner mac has got the right permission on this particular directory so this means that all the members of the mac group have got the right permission the right permission on a directory means that new files or subdirectories can be deleted or created now what i want as the user owner is that no one else is able to delete the files even though they have the permission so someone belonging to the mac group although has got the right permission but still i don't want them to be able to delete the files created within the linux directory so what i have to do is i need to use the concept of sticky bit so what sticky bit does it 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 prohibits any member of the group even though they have the right permission to be able to delete the files that they have not created
created. So what you need to write is simply use the change mode command again. Sticky bit is plus T. So on slash Linux. That's what you need to do. LD slash Linux. Okay, so you can see here a T at the end. So this means that sticky bit is set on this particular directory. Alright, so these were sample questions that you can expect from user and group. ACL and sticky bit are set GID commands. So I hope that you are making progress towards your exam. Do subscribe and do not miss on the subsequent videos that I am going to upload.